Hi, this is Risa and welcome back to my channel, Risa's Embroidery Chest. I'm really excited to share a series of two videos where I'm reviewing and stitching Tatiana Popova's Autumn's Birthday Silk Ribbon Embroidery Kit, which I bought in her shop on Etsy, the link for which is provided below. First off, the kit is listed for the advanced skill level embroider, but don't worry, I'm gonna go through the entire kit with you and if you decide to stitch it, you can watch the stitch along video that comes along with this review. Let's begin by seeing what is included in her kit. So first off, there is a printed panel on cotton fabric and she's ironed it on more like a decal. So it has sort of a rubbery feel to it and it's wrapped around this wax paper to give it some form while it's being shipped. Now, because of this decal feel to it, I'd advise you to use this kit more as a wall art piece rather than a cushion. And in case it gets wrinkled during shipping, you can use the wax side of the sheet over the pattern and you can iron it flat. Just make sure you don't iron it directly. Now, the rest of the kit includes some floss that you will need during the embroidery process. It includes a key which lists all of the silk ribbons that are in the kit along with the different sizes 2mm, 4mm, 7mm and uh, so on and so forth. And in this packet she includes all of the chenille needles which is really useful. So the 13 which is the largest for silk ribbon and all the way down to a tapestry needle for the floss. So this is really useful. I keep collecting all of these needles. Uh, sometimes you can't buy the really large ones in the store. So do keep them properly for your future projects. Now let's take a look at all of the ribbons. Now here, as you can see, she's kind of uh, stuffed all of the ribbons and quite a lot of them actually. And I can tell you after stitching the kit that there is sufficient ribbons here for you to complete the project and then some. Uh, what I've done is I've wrapped it around these DMC bobbins and you can also wrap the larger widths on um, spools, wooden spools if you have them. Uh, most of her kits come with the ribbons all organized um, in a key so that's really useful and this one's sort of I'm surprised to see that it's all sort of jumbled up together. Here are some instructions on how to iron on the patterns from her book onto fabric if you haven't bought the kit, but let's focus on what the kit actually includes here. So the first thing here I can see is that she has a stitch guide or rather instructions on how to stitch this gorgeous panel of sunflowers. It gives you an instruction on what ribbons to use, what stitches to use, um, and of course a stitch guide on which flowers to stitch first. And then it has sort of a sheet of tips and tricks, what to keep in mind um, when you know stitching ribbon embroidery, which will be useful for beginners. And it has a list of all of the ribbons that are included and the corresponding numbers, which by the way, you can buy directly from her shop Owlcraft and the link for which is provided in her instructions. Finally, it includes an appendix of the stitches that you will be using while stitching this panel. Now let's come to the book. I have her book called The Seasons in Ribbon Embroidery. It's a gorgeous book. I, I use it as a, as a Bible. Here is the chapter on uh, Autumn's Birthday, which is the kit that we are talking about right now. Now I would really advise getting this book you can watch the kit review by clicking on the link above because it includes stitches that are not included in the instructions that are included in the kit and here's a picture of the autumn's birthday design in her book that you can iron onto fabric if you decide not to buy the full kit but the book in itself i must say very useful to have even when you get a kit. Now, what you will need in addition is some muslin cloth that I generally use as backing when I stitch ribbon embroidery. 
Um, she doesn't mention it in her instructions, but this is something I learned by stitching Lorna Bateman's um, embroidery kits. Now there are two reasons why this kit is considered an advanced level embroidery kit. And first is because of the intricate flowers that you will need to stitch. The second is that you will need some fabric paint to be able to shade these flowers. As you can see, there's a lot of shading going on and I'm using Havana or Giovanna um, silk fabric paint by Croil and you can get a set of basic colors that include green, brown, black, red uh, and yellow, essentially the primary colors and you might want to buy an extra white and I bought these on Amazon. Now the other thing is that you will spend at least about an hour wrapping all of the ribbons that are included in the kit and I highly recommend that you do that. It'll make your life much easier and you will avoid wasting ribbons when you need them uh, by knotting them up by accident. So just spend that time and you can also use this opportunity to make sure you know if the ribbons are all included. So here in the key for example in the, in the green color she includes uh, 2mm, 4mm, 7mm and 13mm here and basically you can just double check that you have all of the ribbons. And here's a sense of how much bobbin work you'll be needing to do even before you start stitching this kit. So just make sure you set aside enough time to prepare. You also need a flat iron. Remember, you need to iron your ribbons before you start stitching. Now here's a sneak peek of my stitch along video. Do join me by watching it as I'm gonna walk you through every part of this beautiful ribbon embroidery kit. It looks daunting, but don't be afraid. I'm gonna be your stitch buddy for this kit and you're going to learn so much by stitching all the different ribbon embroidery techniques. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful. See you again next time. Bye-bye.